It's CBSC NCRT Solutions Chapter 8 Introduction to Trigonometry Exercise 8.1 Question Number 8 It's given that if 3 times cotangent of A is equal to 4 Check whether 1 minus tangent square A divided by 1 plus tangent square A is equal to cos square A minus sine square A Now we will proceed to the solution Let's draw a triangle here Let's suppose that it is a right angle triangle and we have angle A here, B, C and this is 90 degree. Now it's given to us that 3 times cotangent of A is equal to 4. So it means cotangent of A is equal to 4 divided by 3. And we know that cotangent of any angle is equal to adjacent side divided by opposite side and so according to this triangle it becomes equal to adjacent side to angle A is AC and opposite side is BC so AC divided by BC is equal to 4 divided by 3 now we have ratio of AC to BC now let's suppose that so let length of AC equal to 4k and let length of BC equal to 3k now from we suppose that length of AC is equal to 4k and, le and length of BC is equal to 3k because it is given that the ratio of AC to BC is equal to 4 divided by 3 now from this information we can find the length of AB by using Pythagoras theorem. AB square is equal to BC square plus AC square so BC square it's 3k square plus AC is 4k square and we get here 9k square plus 16k square equal to 25k square now taking square root on both sides we get AB is equal to 5k now from here we can find the values of sine theta and cos theta so sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse and opposite side to angle A won't be theta here it would be a so sine a is equal to opposite side to angle a is bc and hypotenuse is ab and bc is 3k and ab is 5k so i get here 3 divided by 5 because k and k gets cancelled and similarly cos a is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse and adjacent side to angle A is AC and hypotenuse is AB so I get AC divided by AB AC divided by AB and we know that AC is equal to 4k and AB is 5k so I get here 4 divided by 5 so I have values of cos of A and sine of A and Cotangent of A is already given. From cotangent of A, I can write the value of tangent A is equal to 3 divided by 4 because we know that cotangent is reciprocal of tangent. So tangent A is 3 divided by 4. And we need to check that if 1 minus tangent square A divided by 1 plus tangent square A is equal to cos square A minus sine square A. Now let's go through left hand side first. So putting the value of tangent square A, 1 minus the value of tangent A is 3 divided by 4. So let's put the value 3 divided by 4 square, 1 plus 3 divided by 4 square. So it is equal to 1 minus 9 divided by 16 and 1 plus 9 divided by 16 and I get 16. 16 minus 9 is 7 and divided by 16 plus it's 25 divided by 16 so these are just normal calculations and i get 7 divided by 25 here so left hand side is equal to 7 divided by 25 and right hand side is equal to cos square a minus sine square a now just putting the value of cos a and sine a cos a is 3 divided by 5 and 3 divided by 5 square and sine square a is the value of sine A we found was it was BC divided by AB 
uh, what is the value of BC here? BC is 3K. Oh, it was 3 by 5 was the value of sine A, sorry. So here is a mistake. So cos A was 4 divided by 5. So 4 divided by 5 minus 3 divided by 5 square. So I get here 16 divided by 25 minus 9 divided by 25 equal to 25 would be the LCM and 16 minus 9 is 7. So I get here 7 divided by 25. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So it means that 1 minus tangent square a divided by 1 plus tangent square a is equal to cos square a minus sine square a. So that's about chapter 8 introduction to trigonometry exercise 8.1 question number 8 in the next video i'll be covering question number 9 see you guys